Hey there, RC Girl here. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I took this stock RC crawler, turned it into the most badass overland rig that I could. We are going back into the archives, resurfacing this build from like two years ago that I never finished. We are taking my Element Trail Runner to the finish line once and for all. We're going to be decking it out with a ton of cool 3D prints and scale accessories, custom lighting, custom graphics. If you wanna see how it all came together, stay tuned. So quick backstory on this build, why it got put away for two years. This was originally a Knight Customs Element RC collaboration. I wanted to get into resin 3D printing. Resin printing is so amazing, so, so detailed. Knight Customs reached out and mentioned that he had a ton of cool 3D prints for the Element Trail Runner. I thought it was a great opportunity to test out my skills for the first time on some really cool detailed prints. I started printing out some of the parts for the build. Then in the midst of this project, I had to move to a new place without a garage. Resin printing really needs a ton of ventilation. So this project got packed away. Then fast forward to this year, had to move again, found this project packed away in a box. Empty front grill, sad looking body. So it's time to resurrect this, take it to the finish line. Really fun project if you're into 3D printing. There are so many files available from Knight Customs for this build. I'll put links to everything in the description box below if you guys wanna check it out. But if you don't have a 3D printer and wanna print some of the files from this video, definitely check out our sponsor for this video, JLC 3DP. They're an online 3D printing service. You upload your files, select the material you want the item printed in. They will print them out for you, ship them straight to your door. They are also really great if you want to try some not typically at home friendly materials like metal and nylon. How cool is this spur gear that I had printed for my F1 build printed out in metal. This is actually the first 3D print that I've ever seen in metal. It looks so cool. And this bumper set here turned out so nice. I had these printed in nylon. They seem really tough and durable. I even had this front grill here printed in resin. So awesome. Really, really high quality. And these light lenses here were printed in clear resin. Super impressed with the quality of these 3D prints. So next time you wanna try some non-traditional materials or you don't have a 3D printer, definitely check out JLC 3DP. I'll put a link to their website in the description box below. Huge thank you to JLC 3DP for sponsoring this video. Now let's go install some of these parts. Alrighty, so our Element Trail Runner. Where we left this a couple years ago, we have our roof rack and the Night Customs rooftop tent already printed, painted, and finished. I had already dremeled out the space for our front grill and I quickly test fitted the rear bumper. We still have to dremel the Lexan body and quite a long list of things to do. We have a few things to do on our chassis, quite a bit still to go on our body. I had also already installed a skid plate set from Artful Dodgers. They also sent me this front middle bumper here, which we're gonna install. Also have a rear truss here from Scale Metal Supplies, which is gonna relocate our rear links. I also printed these folding side mirrors here. These are actually a file for the SCX6 that I scaled down. And then I had already printed out the front bumper here in resin. But this thing is super heavy. I actually prefer the JLC 3DP printed one. So we're gonna be painting that up, gluing on our light lenses, and uh, no scale build is complete without some scale lighting. So I'm gonna be installing a MyTrick RC custom lighting kit where you can basically pick out any of the lights you want. Let's take it away. We're going to start off with our Night Customs front grill. This is gonna be way more realistic than the grill that came stock on the Element Trail Runner. We're gonna paint this before installing it. First, the light buckets, we're gonna do silver to look a little bit more scale, also help reflect some of the light. I'm using the Testers Enamel Shimmery Silver Paint here. A few coats should do the job. And for our little faux turn signals here, I used Tamiya Transparent Orange. Next, I masked off, primed, and painted the grill black, at least the portion that you see through the Lexan. I used Tamiya Rattle Can Spray Paints with a matte clear top coat. Starting to look really good. Next, I have a Toyota Forerunner emblem set from Artful Dodger Designs, which I glued on with glue and glaze, which dries clear and won't fog up your parts. Next, while we're here, I'm gonna install our front headlights. I have these high-powered LED headlights and five millimeter white running lights. 
I glued these in place with shoe goo and let them dry overnight. Lastly, I glued on the clear lenses with glue and glaze. Time to install this on the Lexan body. It's looking really good. I use shoe goo again here. Now that we have our grill on, we need to fit our new front metal bumper. This is the middle height bull bar from Artful Dodgers Designs. It's adjustable, so you can slide it up or down, front or back, depending if you have a winch or not. All the hardware is included, and it's a really straightforward install process. It is looking super off-roady. I love it. Another chassis upgrade I added is this rear metal truss from Scale Metal Supplies. The rear truss I'm installing relocates two of our rear links up higher, which is intended to help with anti-squat or keeping the rear of the rig from squatting down under acceleration. He also makes a conversion kit to move your servo from the chassis to the front axle. I'll put a link to his website. And he gave me a discount code to share with my subscribers. You can use code RC underscore girl for any products on his website. All right, so next we're gonna fit the Knight Customs officially licensed DeMello Off-Road rear bumper set. These were printed in nylon by our video sponsor, JLC 3DP. I think they turned out so amazing. This install requires a little bit of dremeling of the body, so I've kind of been putting it off. Cutting away the body can be kind of scary because if you go too far into it, you can never put anything back onto the body. So we're gonna take it pretty slow. This bumper set mounts to the chassis, really nice clean fit. Then I taped off where we need to dremel away the Lexan body. After a lot of back and forth of test fitting, I'd probably give myself about a B plus on getting the fit right. There's a little gap here, kind of annoying, but hopefully not too noticeable because there's nothing that we can do about it. <laughs> the bumper is a really cool multi-piece file. Two parts of the bumper fit together on a hinge so it swings open and a gas can. I printed the gas can in red PLA on my new Bamboo Lab A1 Mini with their multicolor spool holder. This makes it super easy to swap colors. It's all automatic, does it for you. Great for printing out scale accessories. I printed the gas can with a small hole in the bottom so we can inset a magnet. I then used magnet tape glued to the bottom of the gas can holder. Really great way to mount accessories that can be removable. All in all, super happy with how this looks. Even space to mount a scale tire on the back here. I don't have an extra tire. We'll have to keep an eye out for one. But in the meantime, we're gonna hang a scale toe strap here on the back. Now let's talk about all the awesome scale overland accessories and other goodies I decked this build out with. For our roof accessories, in addition to the Night Customs rooftop tent and front runner roof rack, I printed a gas can holder that fits three cans and can be mounted to the roof rack as well as a front runner wolf pack case. And these were all secured and glued in place using Shugu. On our driver's side, I added a snorkel as well as a tiny little ladder. This is actually a Proline Rockfan STL file that I shrunk down to fit perfectly here. Nice access to the rooftop tent. And how amazing are these TIG welded land anchors? Land acres are used for recovery, so you can attach it to something on land to help winch your way out of a bind. It's a new product from the RC Chop Shop. Really cool business. They salvage, restore, and resell used RC cars and parts, and they just started making some of their own products like these land anchors. I added one to the roof of my rig until we get a scale winch for the front bumper, and I'm giving away the second one. All you have to do is comment below with which rig you'd put this on. And I couldn't leave the body panels naked. So for the graphics, I found a really cool Forerunner Sunset Mountain graphic online as inspiration. I cut these out on my Silhouette Cameo 4 using three different colors. For the fourth color on the bottom, I just left the Lexan body exposed and sprayed a little matte clear. I have a full tutorial on making your own graphics that I'll link up here if you're interested. To top it off, I added a couple of the last few remaining Sasquatch decals that were given to me by Crooked Rock RC when I was filming a hobby shop tour at Northwest Hobbies in Albany, Oregon. I put these on a couple other rigs. It really got me thinking that the whole theme of this build could be for Sasquatch observing. So I added some words to the side and hence was born the Squatch Watch rig. 
To finish off the Lexan body, we can't forget to install our emblems. Removing the little sticker ones here, adding the Forerunner emblem, the Toyota one on the front, the little TRD here on the side. It's all about those tiny scale details. And to complete this build, we're gonna add in some custom lighting. With my Trick RC, you can pick out a light kit that's customized to the needs of your build. They have several different controllers and you can pick out all the individual lights you need. I went with the Dragon controller since it has four high powered LED ports, in other words, super, super bright, as well as two low powered ports. In addition to the LEDs we installed in our front grille, I added in a pair of red wafer lights for the tail lights. I just glued these in place with some shoe goo. I also added two light pods on the front. And for a unique look, I used one of their new flex LEDs as an accent light on the rear. All the lights can be controlled from a third channel switch on your remote, which is super awesome. I'm using the Spectrum DX3 and the third channel switch here toggles through turning on the lights as well as through the three brightness modes. Eventually, I wanna get rear taillight buckets and lenses. The stickers really take away from the scale aspect, but this really brings the rig to life. So all in all, I think that is a wrap for this build. What do you guys think about how it turned out? I'm a little biased, but I think it looks awesome. I'm also feeling really good about finishing a project that has been on the back burner for like over two years, which is way too long. There are a couple things I still wanna do, like printing a scale interior. Night Customs makes one. The first print I did, my first try at the print, which took 12 hours, was a failure. Somehow the layer shifted and the surface was super rough. So I'm gonna give that a try again. I'm actually waiting for some new PLA to arrive in the mail. Also Jay Kendall from SOR Racing is sending me some new window decals. The stock ones are a little bit foggy. He makes some better tinted ones. So we're definitely gonna install those when they come this week. As a reminder, I'll put links to all the print files, all the scale accessories, everything I used in this build in the description box below. Huge thank you to JLC 3DP online 3D printing service for sponsoring this video. And as always, huge thank you to my community of patrons on Patreon for all your support. If you wanna win one of the RC Chop Shop TIG welded land anchors, make sure to comment below with which rig you put it on. Until next time, I'll see you later.